even though I'm coming through with a with, with a nationalist perspective and a nationalist identity, you know, uh, 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 culturally in terms of the music and so on, politically I'm on the left. I did philosophy at Edinburgh. I did philosophy at Howard and political science. And then in graduate school, I moved to economics. So I was able to balance philosophy, political science, and economics, you know, as a as a way of vision and a way to. To, to develop some vision of the world. So I would always ask questions, and, and sometimes even the questions caused me to, um, to get into trouble, you know? And I was always in trouble, so I was fired from several universities because I was, you know, uh, that's who I am. I'm going, I'm going to confront the status quo ante if I feel it's, 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 it's backward and we need to go forward, you know? But I know that I can speak well on at any point in time. I can speak well on the petroleum business. I can speak well on on uh, the banking business. I know I continue to study that. I can speak well on development economics. That is the future of developing countries. I can speak well on, on uh, literature. I can speak well on music, excellent on music. I could speak well on, on from, from the Harlem Renaissance to the present of black writers, men and women, left and right, okay? Left and right, that is, you know, from Langs whether it's Langston or whether it's Ralph Ellison, left and right. I can speak on the music thoroughly. I know the music inside out. I know, I know the film and the art. I can talk on black people. Um, I know Latin America inside out. I can talk about anything on Latin. I, that's, I, know, I know the Caribbean inside out. I always felt attached to the poor, to the working class, and to the conditions of African Americans. Understood through the music and through the art, through the, the religious um, rhetoric, if you want to call it that. I, I, did, I, I felt that and I knew that. That was always my concern. So that uh, and then, of course, then I get influenced by C.L.R. James, I get influenced by Walter Rodney, I get influenced by Eric Williams, I get influenced by Richard Wright, I get influenced by Sterling Brown, I get influenced by, by Sam Dorsey. And if you look at all of those men, all of them on the left. So I come through, even though I'm coming through with a, with, with a nationalist perspective and a nationalist identity, you know, uh, 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 culturally, in terms of the music and so on, Politically, I'm on the left because I'm listening to people on the left. But none of them ever induced me to become a Marxist-Leninist. Or I always found that very interesting with them. They let me live. They let me be free. They let me think for myself. What they wanted me to learn was to read more, think harder, discipline myself, and prepare myself for the pain that one would encounter in the struggle.